Welcome dear students. In this video we are going to learn 7th standard general science. Subject teacher Joshi SK. Today's lesson is lesson number 1 the living world adaptation and classification part 1. We can see a great variety of plants in our surrounding. They can survive in extreme hot as well as cold region. or in any habitat so we can say that they are gradually adapted to their surrounding now let us learn what is mean by adaptation adaptation can be defined as gradual changes occur in the body parts and also in the behavior of organisms which help them to adjust to their surrounding such changes are called adaptations There is one activity for you. Observe various plants in your surrounding, their stem, their leaves, their roots, their habitats, etc. and note down observations in your science notebook. You can collect more information about these plants with the help of internet. Now, let us learn adaptation in aquatic plants. Aquatic plants are those plants which grows in different water bodies like rivers, ponds, lakes, oceans, etc. You can see images of lotus, water lilies and different aquatic plants in this video. Now, let us learn characteristics of different aquatic plants one by one. Stems and leaves of aquatic plants are covered with waxy layer. Leaves of some plants are thin and slender to withstand all in the fast currents of water. There are air spaces and petioles in the stems of aquatic plants to adapt themselves for floating. Lotus, water lily, water hyacinth, duckweed are some examples of aquatic plants. Next we will learn adaptations in desert plants. Avoid the water loss from evaporation. Desert plants are either leafless or their leaves are converted into the needle-like structure or may be in thorns. Stem of desert plant is green and fleshy and have waxy layer on it. It also performs function of photosynthesis. Stem also stores food and water in it. Roots of desert plants penetrate deep into the soil in search of water. Next point is adaptation in plants of snowy region. Plants in snowy region are conical in shape. Their branches are sloping. Their bark is thick. All these characters helps them to withstand all in cold and snow. Examples of these types of plants are pine and deodar. Adaptation in plants of forest region. A variety of plants like trees shrubs herbs and climbers found in forest characteristics of forest plants are number 1 these plants compete for sunlight so they grow tall second climbers and vines also grow to a great height with support of trees for sunlight third climbers have spring like tendrils adaptations in grassland plant In these regions diverse types of bushes and grasses are found they have fibrous root few plants are adapted to complete their need of food these plants are as follows number 1 dodder many plants make their own food and hence are autotrophic but some plants like dodder depends upon host plant for food and water they absorb food and water with the help of hostorial roots from host plant fungi do not have chlorophyll and cannot perform photosynthesis they obtain food from starchy food stuffs like bakri and bread with the help of root like fibers for absorption of food another example of these types of plants are insectivorous plants insectivorous plants grows in the soil deficient in nitrogen they fulfill their need of nitrogen by consuming insects examples of insectivorous plants are 
Venus flytrap, Pitcher, Drosera, etc. We will learn adaptation in plants in our next video. Thank you for watching dear students.